Dinjarin, have you ever removed your helmet? I have. Why don't you purify yourself in the waters of Lake Minnetonka? All right, is this mic on? Yep, it's on. Okay, let's go. The Mandalorian Season 3. Oh my god, where do I start? Where do I start? <sighs> this entire show should be called The Mandalorian... What's the point? That should be the subtitle, the subheading. Mandalorian, what's the point? Because the entire series... <laughs> the entire show... It's just a series of what's the point. First off, let me start by saying this. <clears throat> Star Wars is dead. Star Wars died the moment George Lucas sold Lucasfilm to Disney. That was the moment Star Wars died. So for those fans out there that keep having hope, like a new hope is coming... <laughs> It's dead. It's done. It's totally done. The Mandalorian was a little light at the end of the tunnel for them. But the idiots just destroyed the whole thing. First off, if you're thinking they're going to retcon the sequel trilogy, the crap, it's not going to happen. Because all road leads to Raylo and all those shite. So don't get your hopes up. The Mandalorian ended in season two. That was when the Mandalorian ended. Ah oh, man. So is this what we waited two years for? So this is what we waited two years for. <laughs> so stupid. Ah. Oh. So these idiotic writers think what the fans want are a bunch of celebrity inserts. In a Star Wars uh, uh, movie. So we had uh, Hippo. Uh, sorry. Lizzo and Jack Black. Shoved in there. Like what's the point? What's the point? It's an entire shit show. This show is crap. You can skip the entire show. And nothing changes. There was no need for this show. No need at all. People are raising John Favreau up in the air like he's the messiah that's going to come and save Star Wars. He says, no saving Star Wars. The president, uh, what's her name? The Wicked Witch of the West? What's her what's that demon's name again? Kathleen Kennedy is there. She's, <laughs> she's got everyone by the balls. She's got the executive by the balls. She cannot be fired. I think she probably got like a videotape of one of, one of them shagging a dog or something. Because they can't get rid of her. She's not going anywhere. She's going to go and she's good and ready. So we've been, we, we've been told from the start of The Mandalorian, from the very first season, that The Mandalorians are on the brink of ex, uh, extinction and there's only a few of them left. And everyone was hoping that Din Djarin was going to be like the messiah that would come and reclaim Mandalore and bring The Mandalorian right back to their rightful place. Nope. Din Djarin has just been a placeholder for Bo-Katan. Because she's a woman. And you know now, men can't lead nothing no more. It's taboo for a man to lead anything. In this modern Western culture we're in right now. So she's going to lead anything. If... <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do this review with a straight face. I almost didn't want to do it. But I've got free time on my hands. So what the fuck? <sighs> Where do I start with this donkey shite? Okay, so this season three, well, I'm talking about merchandising, this season three, they decided to bring back IG-11. For those of you who don't remember IG-11, you're not alone. I didn't remember IG-11 either. The robot that saved the day from season one that blew himself up to smithereens was brought back and wasn't only brought back, he was made into like a, like an accessory, like for Grogu a little compactment in his chest so Grogu can, can sit in it and operate the robot like a just for merchandising purposes it's all about money they don't care <laughs> God. 
So see how stupid these Mandalorians are. They're night like uh, training a little, initiating a little boy into like the Mandalorian fold or something, and then a dinosaur came and took him away. And then they started chasing the the, the dinosaurs in their jetpack, <laughs> and then they ran out of fuel. And then one of them said, "Oh, this always happens. It always gets away." And I'm thinking like, so this has happened before. But then, of course, Bo-Katan was thinking ahead of the game. She got on in her little ship and went over. Well, long story short, she saved the day. Bo-Katan always... Bo-Katan saved Din Djarin like five times in this movie. Like, the strong woman, strong woman. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen that South Park episode, the strong woman episode. That's this. Bo-Katan is like the embodiment of the modern day strong, quote unquote, strong woman. So, in other words, they, they took Din Djarin's whole character arc and gave it to bo -Katan. Comics, action movies, superhero movies are a male-dominated genre. But they're trying to flip it now to females. But women are more interested in, like, rom romantic comics and rom-coms and all this stuff. They don't want all that. <laughs> women don't want to go and see women superheroes. If a woman is going to see a superhero movie, she wants to see Chris Evans and all these The Rock in tights and looking nice. They don't want to see Brie Larson and all this. Uh, what's the point? First off, what's the point of the flamethrowers if they don't actually burn anything? <laughs> They're going, but nothing is burning. Even the fabric is not catching on fire. What's the point of the dark saber if you're just gonna break it like a like a celery stick? What's the point in bringing Grogu back? What's the point flying on your crappy jetpacks after a dinosaur when you know you're gonna run out of gas? Like, oh, what's the point in having Moff Gideon in a Baska armor? If you're not going to bother to explain how it was made, because supposedly the Mandalorians are the only race of people that can uh, forge Baskar. So how did Moff Gideon get his created? Huh? No, nothing? What's the point in having an entire episode, right? Dedicated to a scientist and his tranny sidekick. What's the point in constantly bringing a baby into a war zone? You're bringing your baby Yoda or Grogu or whatever, <laughs> whatever his name is. You're bringing him to a war zone constantly. Why? What's the point? Ah, gee, oh my lord, I'm having a hit. I need a drink after this. <sighs> What's the point of the mythosaur? What's the point of the... Oh, oh, bo seen the mythosaur down over there in Lake Minnetonka when she went over to save uh, Din Djarin for like the 100th time. What's the significance? What's the point in her seeing the mythosaur? Nothing happened. What's the point in having Hippo... Oh my lord. What's the point in having Lizzo and Jack Black in the show? Like, what's the point? What's the point in Din Djarin risking his life to bathe in Lake Minnetonka when the Mandalorians accept Mandalorians with or without their helmets on. Oh, man. <laughs> What's the point of this little, little uh, swamp thing, uh, Pirate of the Caribbean, David Jones locker ripoff guy? What's the point? Like, you're having. What's the point in having these flashbacks, these Grogu flashbacks, without expanding? on the story <sighs> here's me thinking they were gonna make this grogu having flashback like cal castus in the jedi uh fallen order video games well cal lost his memory but which every little incident that makes him remember every little flashback he gets he regains a little uh a little power a little XP, a little level up on his, on his ability to use the Force. I was thinking that was, that was the same thing they were going to do to Grogu. But no way. They have... Disney already have all the materials they need for Star Wars. They have everything they need to keep on uh, nourishing this goose. 
and the goose is going to keep laying you the golden egg. Just follow, just follow the roadmap. Everything's already been laid down. Why are you trying to write a different story that nobody wants? You basically just grabbed a hammer and sickle and you just murked the goose. What is the point? <sighs> oh my lord. You're sacrificing Star Wars on the, on, on the altar of woke trash ideology. Why? <sighs> this this show should be called something else. We should be called something else. Should be. I've got a better name for this show, right? You call it the Bo Katan show, or just, or just call it the Womandalorian and the gender non binary. Just call it that. Because that's what all these Mandalorians without the helmets look like. They look like, like they work in, in Starbucks or something. Like they drink the soy latte and trying to, and uh, ready to have an argument with Ben Shapiro. That's all. That's what they look like. Little pink haired, little weird gender studies major people. Like they don't look like some Spartan warriors because that's what the Mandalorians are supposed to be in the Star Wars law. The Mandalorians are the Spartan army, the Spartan soldiers in Star Wars law. Look at these people. Do anyone strike fear into anybody? <laughs> point oh what's the point it's eight o'clock in the morning where i am right now but i mean after this man i feel like i need a shot do some vodka straight to the dome man what is did anyone else catch the end of this of 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 the season without that weirdo that weak man that, was, that just had his ass handed to him by bo-katan was screaming at the end when Bo-Katan was lighting the forge. He was screaming for Mandalore, for Mandalore, for Mandalore. Like, don't sit your goof ass down somewhere, man. What's, man, what is wrong with you? Like, share, subscribe to this channel. Help a brother out, man. I'm a one-man army over here. <laughs> Catch you on the next one, man. Damn. Need a bloody drink.